In this morning's Health Watch, something that is rarely talked about until it's too late, teen depression. One young man, though, is determined to transform his near tragedy into a triumph. CBS News national correspondent Jeff Glor has his story. On the outside, Jordan Burnham appeared to have the ideal life. A high school senior named a homecoming court, a star athlete on his school's baseball and golf teams. But on the inside, Jordan was suffering from a debilitating battle with depression. In September 2007, Burnham called his then girlfriend to say goodbye and crawled out his bedroom window nine stories high. It seems impossible to think anyone could survive the fall. Jordan dropped more than 100 feet and hit the ground at 60 miles an hour. But incredibly, when he was rushed to the hospital, Jordan was still breathing. I just wailed, and I think any mother can uh, understand that when you don't know whether you're going to lose your child or not. Jordan's parents, Georgette and Earl, spent the next four months at his bedside. I think the little things in life, you learn to uh, uh, appreciate so much more um, than in the moments you have together, realizing that that could not have been. This is Jordan Burnham today. Falling nine stories and surviving is obviously a miracle in itself. After 14 surgeries and two and a half years of excruciating rehabilitation. My dad said I was literally right under my window. So, so um, you landed right down here. He still walks with a cane, but he's back home. Amazingly, he's even back playing his favorite sport. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd be back on a golf course again? <laughs> uh, no. I'd be lying to you if I woke up and I was in the worst time saying I knew I'd be standing here with you, you know, hitting golf balls again. But uh, again, the body has a mind of its own sometimes and uh, is amazing the way it recovers. While Jordan's body continues to heal itself, he knows that his mind will never be completely cured. Depression remains a daily struggle. Reminders of that September evening never far away. You still sleep in this bed. Right. Inches away from that window. Right. You're okay with that? For me, it's a positive thing saying, this could have been a situation that could have ended everything, but here I am now in the same spot, making a positive and a difference too, and living in a positive way. Shining a light on the dark world of depression is Jordan's new mission. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jordan Burnham to the National Youth Leadership Forum on Medicine. So Jordan, now 20, travels to high schools and colleges across the country. Anyone in here can be depressed. Educating parents and students about the painful stigma associated with mental illness. We can never choose the bad things that happen to us, but we can choose how we cope with them. Jordan wants kids who feel like they have no hope left to stop and think for a moment and wonder whether it's worth making a choice that they might never be able to take back. I know that personally sharing my story has touched lives, has saved lives, and started conversations that I'm sure a lot of people thought they would never have. And so um, is this the best thing that happened to me? Um, in a lot of ways, probably. 